this little video is um, of our jaunt to Crick to hopefully buy a new boat yeah which would explain my post the other week which caused a bit of a meltdown <laughs> asking how much do you think we'd get for this boat and everybody was oh you're not selling up you're not selling up so no we wasn't selling up um, we were just testing the water um, because uh, we've got a new boat or new to us boat on the radar and on the way out we got to peer in a sinkhole yeah yeah uh, a lock that was um could have been yeah. nasty if it would have sunk any sinkier is that right no no <laughs> no got, got bigger got bigger you know what i meant yeah or it happens yeah. to any of the other locks yeah uh, i'll stick to me beer you, you, you talk you talk <laughs> yeah and then we get to visit a nice pub, pub at the top yep, of Buckley Flight. Yep, my, my first um, outing in a pub um, yeah. for a long while, for a very, very long while. Yeah, I think I've mentioned a few times on various um, different videos we've done my um, love and lust for an old vintage engine. That would be my dream um, to have a vintage engine, and I've narrowed it down to three um, that I want. Not I don't want three, one of three. Yeah, three engines, vintage engines in a, in a boat. With, I'm, I'm going off on one, in there, yeah. And the boatman's cabin. Um, if you're familiar with these, they take up quite a bit of actual living space of the boat. So, Debbie didn't want to. <laughs> that's not them making it He's sound so like kind. I'm, I'm He's so it, kind. I'll make it sound like I'm blaming you. Yeah. Um, we don't <laughs> want to compromise on any of the living space. Um, this particular boat we found, it was 10 foot longer, so it was a 70 foot boat, mm. but it still had the um, saloon area, the dinette, yeah. uh, galley was the same, bathroom, cross bed, then the engine room, and uh, then the boatman's cabin. Um, so it was... A, a, sounded yeah, really good. Yeah, yeah, it sounded too good to be true. But anyway, we needed, we was at, um, gate and junction and we needed to get to Crick yeah and uh, luckily I have to mention it on one of the um, social media platforms and one of our viewers Celine Ellis very talented uh, musician Celine Ellis um, come picked us up and took us to Crick bless her heart yeah. yes and uh, well here we go where are we going Deborah we're going to view a boat <laughs> Mark's excited um I've been sliding up and down the boat on my knees this morning. <laughs> uh, wasn't this nervous. I think when we first started, started viewing viewing. boats looking for one to live on. So, um, yeah, not going to tell you too much about it just yet. Something we've been looking for, but finding it that ticks all the boxes. And it does. And it does. So uh, we're now off to view it and uh, we'll see you when we get there. Yeah, so uh, we went went to see the boat and fell in love with it. Absolutely loved it, yeah. yeah. It, it, it was perfect, absolutely perfect. But the only problem was owners were not there. They weren't going to be there for another... 10 days. Uh, I think 10 days, and before I even wanted to try to haggle with price or put an offer in, um, I obviously wanted to see, the en see hear the engine running, Talk to the owners about the history of the engine, um, whether the build date when it was had it been. Um, I was going to say replenished. <laughs> <laughs> What's the word I'm looking for? Restored. As yeah, yeah. Were. Had it gone under a, under a restoration thing. Yeah. Um, so we had ten days ten, to kill. Ten days to kill. So um, obviously, got to get back to Crick. So we turned around. Um, and went back the way we'd already just come. Yeah, yeah. so just come down the Buckby flight. <laughs> so we went back, back up, up the Buckby flight. Yeah. Up the... Then on to the Leicester Arm. Yeah. Up through the Watford uh, flight of locks. Yeah. And then on to Crick. Yeah. Right, so probably said this a million times uh, Debbie's that side of the lock double lock so I've opened the gate sorry I've opened the ground paddle that side the water's coming under the boat bouncing off the wall pressing the boat against that wall and then what I've done I've opened the gate paddle 
um, this side so the water is actually running down here and again keeping her pinned up against that so she's no need for ropes no need for forward and reverse all nice and gentle all I've got is the two two paddles open there's four paddles upper paddles on this lock two ground two gate we're in no hurry so I've got the ground paddle her side open and the gate paddle the opposite side and that's just pinning her there nicely yeah and this is making my day Deb now slowly getting her confidence back uh, to helm the boat and take it up through the locks which gives her a break and gives me some much needed exercise right so we're now going up through the Watford locks for possibly the last time on Musumaya um, we'll have to wait and see right so we're now in the middle of the locks um, Watford locks middle of the staircase and this just behind me is where the um, sinkhole is and this could put these locks out of action for a while if it actually goes yeah so the contractors are wheelbarrowing gravel down filling the hole I don't know how many tons of that they're going to need and then what they're going to do is pour resin in so the gravel will be all sort of held with the resin and hopefully be a permanent repair Yeah, so um, Crick Tunnel, I think that is my favourite tunnel. First one I ever done. It's nice and straight, nice and high. We had passed no other boats through it. Um, we're coming from Watford Locks towards Crick, and the last 100 metres, 150 metres of the tunnel, very wet, very rainy inside. Hence why I've got my uh, DWM, durable waterproof membrane, on. And we're now coming up to Crick Wharf, um, where A, B and B boats used to be, where we bought M Musumaya from. And A, B and B boats have since moved to North Kilworth Marina. So uh, I think the, you know, the little uh, basin here at the wharf is fairly empty. So just pointy finger just through there is the 70 foot boat that we're interested in. Yeah, so it's just an arm's throw away, um, but we've been to view it and it's another eight days before the owners get back off of holiday. And uh, obviously with the Russell Newbury DM2 engine in there, um, they're gonna start it all up and uh, maybe even get a little spin out on it. As spin's probably the wrong term and it's not a car yeah so quite exciting really considering it was nearly three years ago that our journey and um, started here at Crick Marina and now now we're back again um, our boat could even end up on brokerage here I don't know yet yeah and it looks like uh, boat number two for us which I think we've discussed, we would call it, uh, have it renamed Musumaya 2. So uh, yeah, could be from Crick Marina.
we're off to, Deborah? We are off to the Welford Arm after six days of going absolutely stir crazy. Yeah, we've been hanging about in one area. I suppose this would be my part of my oh Mark's decided he wants another boat the owners aren't here so we need to wait around for about a week series of videos eight days actually I think it is so yeah, yeah. so I think we're getting low on water we are very we're at bridge 22 Haddon Road Bridge yeah on the Leicester arm of the Grand Union Canal just a little way past Yelvertoft Marina uh, pointy ends facing north so we're gonna go up to the, the Welford. Welford arm yeah and uh, according to Canal Planner, yeah. it takes three hours and 55 minutes. Yeah, it's nine, and I think nine miles, two and a half furlongs. I yeah. had to write that down. Yeah. Now, normally, if Canal Planner says it's going to take three hours, 55 minutes, it tends to take a bit more because once you uh, get near moored boats, you're continually slowing down to tick over, which ain't a problem. We've got plenty of time to kill. All the kill. time in the world yeah, to kill. Yeah, got a few more days to kill. So, um, We'll get some footage on the way and yeah. meet you at the bottom. see those rain clouds behind me. I've been uh, trying to outrun them for the last 20 minutes and I think they've caught me up. Now getting a few spots. Yeah, so we're now about to turn um, right or starboard um, down the Welford Arm. A mile and a quarter long, I think, and it ends, um, it ends at the Welford Arms, the pub. Um, I don't think that's why the canal that section of the canal was built it was built 1814 and it was uh, built to link this main line up with the Welford and Selby reservoirs which I'm assuming then fed um, this section of the canal yeah it was derelict for many many years with the demise of the canals and I think it was restored in 1969 um, so thanks to all those people back then doing all the restoration work we get to go down did I mention there was a pub down the bottom the Welford Arms well good old British weather did catch up with me uh, July the 5th pretty much the same as July the 4th and July the 3rd and I think it's forecast for July the 6th um, the entrance to the arm is just ahead so I'm now going to put the camera down blast my horn and execute my manoeuvre Now the idea going down this arm primarily is to get rid of the rubbish, fill it with water, but I haven't told Deb yet, I'm gonna, if they're doing two for a tenner, I'm gonna treat her to a meal in the pub. We'll have to wait and see, but I don't wanna build her hopes up. So here we are, down at the Welford arm, and just get on the water point, and a tight winding process. There's the wind in hell behind. So if you're on your boat, you will come down here, uh, point your finger, make sure you don't smash the boards there because you'll get sucked into the dry dock and turn around. And it looks like the pub's open, so we'll be in there later. And there is a mooring spot uh, just there. So once we fill it with water, we'll pull the boat backwards into there and that'll be our spot for the night. What have you got there, Mark? Hopefully it's going to be... First one in a pub for a long time. Anticipation is killing me. It's a, it's a best bitter from Gundog Ales, and this is a bad to the bone at four and a half percent. And I think this is the first pint I've had in a pub for a long, long while. Oh, that is smooth. That is. <laughs> So the whole thing is going to be done to the chips as well. Yeah, that's nice. 
That is a right nice pint. <laughs> I was dreading this. No, I mean, we've got beautiful buns. But we don't have the chips on the Oh, very nice, yeah, right nice point. Oh, sweet, do you want to Well, I'm in shock. They didn't do two for a ten. And... Well, that's our evening at the Wharf Inn. That was lovely. That was, very, yeah, very nice. yes. That... Highly recommended. Yeah, um, I did, have a, de did have a deal on. It wasn't two for a tenner, but <laughs> I'll get over it. <laughs> Well, much against my better judgment, I'm actually going to try and do what I said the other day and get in the winding hole and uh, run down the front. Deb will be holding the boat steady and have a rummage and see if I can find my tripod and GoPro that I lost nearly three years ago. So here goes. Well, that didn't go to plan, did it? No. <laughs> We've been cruising, I don't know, two hours this morning. Haven't passed one boat get my nose into the uh, uh, winding hole Deb shouts out I'm down the other end boat <laughs> I come running back there's a boat coming under the bridge so reverse it out let that boat go get nose back into the winding hole boat and uh, reverse back out by which time there was two more boats queuing up to come <laughs> down one wanting to wind uh, one behind us so three years I've waited to pass that winding hole um, it weren't meant to be. It was not meant to be. So if anybody ever does get the chance, um, it's not the monetary value of it. Like I say, it was probably a 40 quid tripod and a 30 quid Amazon uh, imitation GoPro. It would have just been nice to have got it out and got that footage of me actually losing it. Oh, you don't want footage of me losing it. That's not pretty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we've moored about a mile up the cut. I'm now walking back to bridge 28 and the winding hole. And hopefully I can get over the bridge into the farmer's field opposite the winding hole, armed with extending, now Deb said I actually look like Aquaman. <laughs> I think it's about time she went to Specsavers. Um, yeah, arm with new extending pole and see if I can have a fish about and find it. See you when we get there. Well, I'm in the field with shorts and stinging nettles and thistles. I didn't think this one out. And oh, I've got a phone call. Well, I don't think it's going to happen. The, uh, the reeds, thistles and nettles are um, shoulder height above the fence that I've got to jump over into the the swampy depths below and I'm not actually in the mood for it now we just had a call from the broker the boat we was interested in um, there's another guy who's interested and he's offered I think he's offered from what I could make out obviously the, the broker can't let on um, but I think he's looking at offering full asking price and going ahead without a survey. Well, yeah, so this last two weeks cruising um, was for nothing. Absolutely gutted. Yeah, so I went from euphoric to inconsolable. He was um, very much so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I blame, blame myself. Um, I probably should have put an offer in. Um, I just, but it didn't happen. Yeah, that it didn't way. didn't happen. So my my only bit of advice um, to anybody out there viewing boats at the moment in this the way the market is, I, I don't want to say buoyant, um, but just if there's something you you're after, get in there because somebody yeah. else will, will beat you to it. Yeah, don't yeah. don't don't fanny around. Now three, <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Three years we've looked for this boat. Not this particular one, but with all those bits and pieces on it, and mm -hmm. that ticked all the boxes. Yeah. So I might have to wait another three years um, yeah. to find something like that again. But hey ho, uh, water under the bridge now. Yeah, it's gone, and, yeah. and that's that. So we're, what we did was we, we then I came. Did, I did. We came down uh, the Watford uh, locks yeah. and, and down and the Buckby, Buckby flight. Yeah, yeah, but we did actually stay overnight at the top. 
yeah. um, at the top lock and went in the new in there yeah. and I did drowned my sorrows there was no resuscitating my sorrows they were <laughs> properly drowned yeah <laughs> and uh, yeah. and life goes on it yes, does yeah. it does we were off to Debra off to the pub <laughs> for a yeah. stiff one for a stiff one boy um we've uh, I've got to try not to laugh now <laughs> we've um <laughs> we've had a an emotional few days with the the boat sail falling through yeah um yeah. we actually passed it uh today at Crick Marina, we stopped there to uh, go get some supplies and bumped into the uh, lovely Jackie, who works for the brokerage, who told us that the uh, prospective buyers are putting their deposit down this morning. Um, yeah, but we're off to the new inn um, to uh, re rehydrate. I, I think that's <laughs> going to be a little bit more than a half, my darling. Half so, a yeah, so depending on how I feel and uh, how busy it is, we might squeeze in a right nice point review. We'll have to wait and see. Right, as promised, here are the new inn. Oh, spill it, you bear. Um, new one from Marston's Brewery, 61 Deep. Uh, apparently that's called 61 Deep because the well they draw the water from at the brewery is 61 feet deep. They use five different American hops and Australian hops and hopefully it's going to give that a nice zesty fruity flavour. 3.8% on um, cask and 4.1% ABV in the bottles. So if it tastes as good as it looks, I'm going to be having a few of these, especially after today. Ooh. Oh, that is very smooth. Very smooth. Not as zesty as I thought it was going to be, but that is still a right nice pint. I better get this drunk and get another one ordered. And everybody, we do apologise. Um, we had we had decided planned, yeah to, yeah, to, to, to be at to Crick, Crick. Crick this year, and we weren't sure what day um, we was going to go, but uh, life got yeah, in the way. Life got in the way. My feet. Um, are so painful there is no way I would be able to walk around Crick all day um, that they are very to get very a wheelchair painful. and push her around but yeah she, she won't I didn't want a wheelchair she won't have it. no um, so hopefully we'll see you there next year yeah, it's a date yeah definitely next year I mean um, so, so many of you you people contacted me yeah and I think probably during the year I've said yes we're going yes we're going so massive apologies that was right at the last minute you. I just couldn't. I, I mean, logically, I mean, I wanted to, but logically, it just wouldn't have been. I mean, I, I can only walk halfway around Tesco's, and I'm in absolute agony. So, it, it just wasn't. It just wasn't meant to be. You but know. but I've, I've heard through the grapevine. There's one or two other vloggers there that you'll, you'll get to meet. Yes. yes. So I think that's about it. I think so. Yeah. We yeah. don't want to bore you anymore. No. <laughs> so I'd like to say a big thank you um, to Nikki O'Leary. Do you want to put your glasses on and yeah, read? Okay. okay. Yeah. I've got my glass. Sorry. Got my glasses ready. My old ones broke, and um, these are a little bit stronger, so the camera's actually blurred now. But um, this it's piece okay of to paper, read. this piece of paper is very, very large. Makes things look look absolutely huge. Yeah. So where was we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This week's patrons: um, Nikki O'Leary. Peter H. Scott and John West over on PayPal. Thank you so, yeah, thank so much. Thank you so, so much yeah. for supporting the channel. We really do appreciate it. And let me take these off so I can see the camera. That's better. So that just leaves us to say, um, if you enjoyed the video... Press the like button. If you haven't already subscribed... Press the subscribe button. If you want future notifications of any other videos we upload... The bell icon. And keep your comments coming. Yes, love your comments. Love the comments. We always um, endeavour... Oh, big word. Yeah. Uh, try to uh, answer all the comments. Some of them do slip through the net and I do apologise. Yeah. And yeah. we'll see you all next week. Yes, we will. Bye. Bye.